today we are in the uh, library uh, building actually in the old city and um, we will have quick interview with some of the children who are joining the, pro uh, the project in, in the library in the old city which is belong to the uh, Happy Homes uh, Society. Uh, today we are going to uh, talk about the difficulties they are facing and what uh, impact uh, happened on their life and uh, what wishes they got for the future. So at the beginning I will start with uh, asking them about what difficulties they are facing living in the old city. The first question is for Maya. شو هي الصعوبات اللي بتواجهكم من وجهة نظرك تحدثي عن موضوع واحد بيواجهك في البلدة القديمة كناس بتسكن بالبلدة القديمة. لما نروح على الحرم بقطونا بنفكر وخلونا نتأخر وعطونا دائما وبعدين لما نخلص لما تخلص صلاة. She's talking about uh, going to the Abraham Mosque and uh, how much is difficult for them to get there. And uh, she mentioned the prayers. Uh, when they go to the Abraham Mosque, they have to go through the checkpoint and the turn, uh, turnstile, turnstile uh, to the checkpoint. So some people, uh, I want to add, some people, they get stuck in it. So that will give the chance to the soldier to check everything. Yeah, this question for Shadna, which is the same question, but I would like her to add something else on this, on, on what she would like to add. She would like to talk about the settlers and their visits to the old city. كل يوم سبت بيجوا مستوطنين على البلد القديم وبصيروا يلموا غنيهم صوت مرتفع بسمعوا العالم وبصيروا يصفقوا. Every Saturday they come, the settlers, the Israeli settlers come to the old city and they start singing their songs in very loud uh, voice and uh, they make big noise to the people in the old city. إيش كمان؟ الناس بتضايقوا ويعرفوا حالهم بعدين يقدروا يشيلوا لما يحطوا الشباك. When the uh, settlers come to the old city, the soldiers block the, the roads uh, they are coming through, so uh, they don't allow Palestinians to, to pass in, uh, in the time while, we're, while they are there. So they, they paused. The life of Palestinian in the old city at the time when they are there. Mayor, شو كم صعوبات بتواجه فيها مايار في البلد القديم؟ أمم مستوطنين واللي بالعصب يأخذونا وبيعذبونا يعمل ذيك الأشياء لما يعمل نفرات علينا ويوصفوا لما لما هم يرموا الأفزخ علينا في حماية الجيش والأحجار بالصفات والأشياء. Uh, she's talking about uh, settlers throwing uh, stones, uh, rubbish, uh, dyeing colors, mm -hmm. uh, water mixed with, with colors, and, uh, and all of that done by protecting of the soldiers. Duha would like to talk about schools. أنا بدي أحكي لما لما تروح المدارس أول إشي لازم يأخذونا على المدارس أول أول ما يحطوا زمانة إلا ما يفتشونا ويجيبوا عصاية بعد يفتشونا فيها وبعدين أنا مرت معي مرة مشكلة لما أنا راح على المدرسة. ضحى would like to talk about the difficulties they are facing on their way to the school and she mentioned the metal, metal detector and the uh, difficulties they are uh, facing getting through it. Uh, and she would like to mention one incident happened with her. Truly, Salman Yadah. 
لما ما لقنا هاي المشكلة أحد يشان فكرة قالوا لي روح أنت على المدرسة قلت لهم بدأت شركة عشان من طرق من المدرسة فيها Once she faced the, a problem, which is uh, when she went through the metal detector, the soldiers took her uh, backpack and they said to her, okay, leave this bag here. And go, she said to them, I can't leave my bag here because all my books are in it. <laughs> عن الناس المشهورين عن العماية كل خمس المدرسة She said they took all the papers they were uh, in in her bag and the papers were the subject on them that this, the, the teacher asked them to write about famous people and the scientists and when uh, when she went through the metal detector they, when they took the papers they um, just shredded them uh, so it's really, that was difficult for her getting to the, to the class without having them. <coughs> okay. From, uh, now I'll talk to Sabah from the parents' point of view. How they say, the, seeing the, um, uh, the situation, living in the old skin. وشو <تصفيق> مرات بتكوني في البيت بعدهم الصوتين يتنزعج يعني ما في استقرار في البيت مرة فبضل الأم طبعا طبيعة الحال الآن على بنتها على بناتها الشاب ما بده يشتغل بضل الآن عليه يقف يوقف ويقول ياخذ ويته ويعتقد ويته يموت من بطلة. شو سبب أبعد abnormal life children living in the old city because they are not they are not living the way the life they it should be like for them as children. They they want to play. They want to enjoy their life. But here it's really difficult because they are facing soldiers and settlers. When the children goes to school, their their mothers, their parents always worried about them. How they gonna come back? When the the their young children, uh, especially boys. When they go to school, uh, go to work, or they uh, they want to leave the area and come back, it's not safe for them because um, sometimes you don't know what sh which soldiers they gonna face getting in and out. Uh, so by talking about uh, getting out of the old city, sometimes they are facing uh, soldiers, demonstrations, tear gas, and uh, um, it's not a relaxed area here. Uh, يعني حرية تنقل الطباعة في بطن الناس اللي بيطلعوا ويجوا في الأوضاع زي هيك، حتى رجعتنا على بيتنا بتكون صعب ممكن يرجعونا اليهود أو ممكن إنه نلف طرق أخرى يعني حتى الناس اللي بيطلعوا. تيرجاز وتشيك بوينت on their way back to their home sometimes they can't manage coming back. أنا لما أروح المدرسة يعني ليش نروح مثلا في الحصة الرابعة في الحصة الثالثة يطلعونا فرصة ياخذوا قنابل غاز ونتضايق 
Doha mentioned that uh, many, time, many times on their way when they finish their uh, once, once the, the time to leave the school, the Israeli soldiers start throwing tear gas. In that moment, it's really difficult for the, the teachers in the school and the head teacher to let them go back home. They ask them to go back to their classes. They, they are some the students. Um, they have asthma, they have some difficult breathing, so this is causing lots of problems for them. And it's really, for people who have no problem as well, it's causing difficulties for them. Mayar would like to tell her story. Mayash is talking about uh, her memory when she was in year one. Uh, there was uh, some, um, what you call it, conflict? And the uh, tear gas and demonstrations. And she used to go to school with her sister Alia. And uh, in between all of this, her sister forgot her. Her, her mother, she's a teacher. So she ended up with being by herself uh, facing the, that situation. So she couldn't go back home in between the tear gas and demonstrations and the tags and all of that stuff. So that, that in her memory is something she, she couldn't forget. So hopefully she will get better than this in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Chad said that uh, sometimes from uh, from the tear gas they shut windows and that won't stop the tear gas from getting in as well. And she couldn't finish the uh, the class they they are in, so they lose all all the stuff they are doing. And uh, once she uh, she was on her way back uh, to their home with her sisters, and uh, the soldiers start. Uh, following them until they got home. Uh, the other question I would like to ask, what are the activities they are making in the library in the old city? So the first question will be for Mayar. Shuhiye ifaaliyat in libtamaluha fi il maktabihu. Uh, they make activities like uh, playing, uh, drawing, uh, uh, lantern, is that what you call it? Lantern, uh, and yeah. some jigsaw games. Shad, shukaman. We are making puppets and uh, play uh, plays using them like a small theater. Shukaman. Uh, 
telling stories and we uh, explain the story and try to draw like uh, to draw what we understand of that story Doha uh, we make the puppets and uh, after we got them ready, we uh, we had uh, like a divider here or something like a screen uh, between us and the people who are playing the, uh, on the puppet show and the people who are, what's called, the audience. So between them and the audience and Shukamaita Mi. We tell stories and we ask the people who, uh, the children who are listening, what did they uh, got of the, uh, the main reason of the story and we ask them to draw what they did understand. It's, help, it's helping them and encouraging them for reading and writing. Uh, shall we say enough for the quote? Shahad mentioned the trips, the trips they are going is really relaxing and they enjoy it and they uh, uh, usually they take their time and what they use on that time to help them to, uh, to get uh, rid of the stress and uh, they take their time. The teacher who was responsible here, which is Sabah, she make a competition between the children about who's uh, memorizing more Quran and the date of language. Quran and painting, uh, drawing actually. So they keeping, they are keeping them busy here in the library. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, the, I'm going to ask them now about which impact and uh, the activities does or affect on their life. شو التأثيرات اللي صارت على حياتكم؟ وجدت إنه زادت الصداقة بين محبة التعاون. Created better, better uh, friendship in, in the community and encourage them to help each other. Chat. عرفتنا على الصديقات الجداد ما كناش نعرفهم من قبل. المكتب يعني عرفتنا على كل على كل يعني كل البنات الأدمن. The activities in the old city help the children here and um, the same age children to know each other and to, to make activities to suit their uh, age. Baha. Um, they used to know each other like from far, but not with the joining the same activities, and that helped them to know each other better and to create that good friendship between them. Maya, the last thing. Yeah, 
that taught us and added to our uh, to our experience better things in our life. So, what the activities they are you are doing in the old city? She faliet tabarik al-Madinah. طبعا فعاليات لانها في المكتب هي اول الهدف منها المكتب فتحت لاجل القراءه. This library created the main reason for it is encourage reading. ان نعلم الاطفال حب القراءه يقراوا يكتبوا كتاب يقراوا قصه يلخصوها يرسموا شيء يتعلق فيها ينتبهوا. The main activities was to help the children reading, um, reading the story, and then uh, summarize the story, and then drawing them and get the benefit of that story. So, and and after this, uh, that they can affect the rest of the world in the library. Uh, she used their praise uh, in getting the children and uh, motiv motivate them to join uh, um, competitions and uh, uh, increase their ability to use their brain in the games. Helping them to to talk about themselves, explaining themselves, and talk about what they feel, and that is really important for for people who are facing this stress. So this is the best way of getting rid of it. التنمية في مهارة الرسم الأعمال الفنية مثلاً وعاء استخدام أشياء من البيئة أعمال فنية. Helping helping them to to practice more of drawing, recycling stuff, use recycled bottles and other stuff for making useful things. أنني أعبر عن أنفسهم من خلال إعداد اللعب وتمثيل المسرحيات لأن ما يعني. To explain or to introduce themselves by making the puppets and joining the plays with their small theatre, very basic one. My question to Sabah is if if she got money, what she gonna use it for? Improve the library. The library needs furniture, books, and stationery. If there is possibility to improve their salaries or to give them some some money for what they do need. At the end of this. Uh, interview. I hope that we are getting to the point. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Sabah and Duha and Shahid and Mayar for uh, investing their time and energy coming here and talking about uh, what they think and their feelings and hopes uh, and hopefully in the future uh, the situation would be better because I think a project like this, we shouldn't waste the energy was invested in and uh, just for for sake of money. And I'm sure that any single penny can make a difference in the life uh, for the children here in the old city, especially the people who are joining the library here in the old city. Thank you.